What's up everyone, Troy here with Restoring Eden. I want to make a quick video um, talking about bare root fruit trees. And um, it's June 20th here in Seattle, Washington. We get a lot of calls right around now, uh, people saying, hey, my bare root fruit trees, whether they purchase them from us or from another vendor, they're saying, hey, my bare root fruit trees are not leafed out, they're dead. And you know what, chances are your bare root fruit tree is not dead, it's just still dormant. And by doing a couple uh, easy things, you can find out whether or not it's dead and you can also get it to leaf out really easily. And so right uh, beside me, I have three different types of peach trees, which are, um, it's very common for them not to leaf out uh, here. And um, these were all returned by customers. Actually, I think this one is planted uh, from us, but most of them get returned by customers and you know we take them back um, and then what we do is, is we just prune them and we, and we put them in pots and right away they can leaf out. They can even leaf out the next day. For us, but we just wanted to highlight um, what you need to do to discern to whether or not your fruit tree is in fact dead or not. Over here, we have a veteran peach, and you see no leaves, leaves, nothing's going on. But you see, it's got this really beautiful bark. This is this is the bark of a of a peach tree, and what you can do is actually scratch this back. You don't have to do it as as rough as that, but here you go. You see that it's nice and green still. This tree is still alive. It just hasn't leafed out. Very common problem happens with uh, all sorts of uh, fruit trees. And in this case, all you need to do is be really aggressive with pruning this peach back. You wanna take at least, at least a third, but upwards of two thirds of the top growth off of this peach tree. Don't be afraid to whack it back. Peaches are super vigorous. Plums are very vigorous. Fruit trees are very vigorous. They should grow uh, easily three feet. Um, the first year. So what you do is you prune this back and obviously give it a good watering as well as fertilize it. And uh, by doing all of that, it really should start to push new growth. And this is an example of one of them that we did. We pruned it back and you see right here that it is pushing that nice new growth, just like that. And this tree will get fully leafed out and should uh, grow for us really well. And see, this is a customer return right here. Same with this donut peach. It wasn't leafed out. They, they just pulled it straight from the ground and we put it right into some potting soil and bam, it's, it's, it just leafed out uh, really nicely for us. So, um, you know, just be aware when you're getting bare root fruit trees, especially if you don't prune them. If you don't prune them, there's just too much material uh, for the roots to handle and, 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 it, and they just won't, they won't be able to push that much energy and cause and, and produce uh, leaves. So by pruning them back, you're giving them a, a little bit of respite, right, if you will, um, and allowing them to use their energy, the resources that they have left to push out growth on the remaining branches, if that makes sense. So there you have it, bare root fruit trees. Guys, it's the middle of June. Yes, we still have fruit trees that haven't uh, leafed out, but out of uh, 2,000 fruit trees and uh, you know 800 that we've planted out at the nursery, there's still only three or four that have yet to leaf out, and that's because we... We prune them back and we keep them watered. So hey, if you guys have any questions concerning your fruit trees, feel free to give us a call. Uh, we, we do our best to help out people. All right, guys, thanks.